Warehouse Wednesday. Imagine like walking out and then that's what you see. Yeah. <laughs> that was the, that was my favorite. Oh, intro in that a while. was that was really good. Okay. Oh man. Uh, so yeah, who's? It, it's a special day because this it person hasn't a, been here since a long time. It has been a very long time. He's sitting down. Stand up, Max. Why is he on the log? I don't know why he's on the log. We never have to walk this far. No, we don't. Well, hey, you got an entourage here. Yeah. Enjoying that new lake. Hey, have you done a Warehouse Wednesday in this warehouse? Yeah. Oh, the hubba. Mm -hmm. The hubba hubba. Okay. The hubba bubba. Yeah, where wow. I got the bullseye and you pretend yeah. that I didn't. Ted, it was Sam Vessel this week, but he's actually next week. Because this week we got the chance to do what? A warehouse Wednesday with Max Mayberry? With Max Mayberry. Okay, to warm up, you're going to do five tricks in the mini ramp. Because you're a mini guy. No, you're a mini ramp guy. That's what I meant to say. Yes. Uh, yes. And then, Mr. Challenge. Question mark. Who knows what it'll be. And then, you're going to have to do five tricks in... How tight are your trucks? Well, not at all. They're going to be a lot tighter. Maybe, if, you do, if you do five tricks that are honorable and good, and I give them a thumbs up, then within you're ten get, minutes, within ten minutes, then you're going to get um, Ma Gage's prizes. Gage prizes from last week because he lost. And if oh, you really? do not do it, then you're going to get yes, revived hand board. You'll get that either way. It's, a, you're on the team. it's a win win situation <laughs> for you, honestly, today. Yeah. All right. But since you're available never here, now, we're not play. I like Max. We'll see if he wins with Gage. You couldn't win. I hope he does. Jake. Hi. Oh, yeah. Steven? No, that's right. I am. That was my favorite intro. That was a good one. What is that song called? I think it's literally called Making My Way Downtown. Uh, okay. No, it's not. Walking Fast. Is it called Walking Fast? I have no idea. It's a thousand miles. It's, 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 called, it's a thousand miles? That's probably it. That's probably what it is. So five tricks. Do you think we're... You suck at naming tricks in mini ramps, don't you? No. Like, do you, let's see if you know any name of the tricks, okay? Okay. All right. Do a trick and let's see. Let's just test it out. Do, do your first trick. Where are you going to do it? Here or there? So, is that count as three tricks? That was two tricks right there. Well, he just did, I know, I'm saying total three tricks. Yeah, three tricks. I knew all those. He did blunt the regs, and then- Blunt 180. Blunt back What do you call it? What? Blunt 180 or blunt to regs? That, or backside blunt. You can get backside blunt too, yeah. Do the back disaster again, just to get an angle of it, okay? It was a backside disaster revert. I know that one. Yeah. But was it what is the switch disaster revert back to back? I like half cab half cab rock or something. What? What was it? Was the la the last trick switch disaster revert? No, it was a switch front rock. Switch front rock. See, we were both of us were wrong. See, that's my point. There's confusion. That's exactly what I'm talking about. There's confusion here. Okay? Not, there's no confusion. There's like an ocean. And you're like, what's that fish? I'm I'm not, I don't know. I'm not confused. You didn't say it right. Yeah, I did. You didn't say switch front rock. Yes, I did. Well, he doesn't really need to warm up. He's warm. But you want to make him do one more trick just to, for just for the w warm sake? Do one more trick. For warm sake. For warm sake. Okay. All right, well, uh, we completely disregarded the five trick thing and he did a bunch. He's warm. He's warm. Mystery challenge time. I have no Oh, wow, idea. you walked up, you looked like you had a halo on. It's mystery time. I know. I already know what the mystery challenge is going to be. I, I want him to do a cricket grind nollie flip on the entire flat bar, but there's no way. It would Kirk look Ryan, so dumb I walking know. along the rail. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Cricket grind nollie heel. I bet you just flop it. We're seeing how hard it is to ollie up to this thing. You just, like do a thumb grab. <laughs> Did you say do a thumb grab? <laughs> it looks like I'm ollieing, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so after deciding you should not use your thumb to ollie, <laughs> we'll make you three flip, three flip the three stair. Sure. Mystery challenge. Oh wow, that, yeah, do that. No, down it, Max. Oh. Dude, you're, you're, you're decent at it. Oh, if there's ever a, a way to not feel like you're an adult, you just come here. <laughs> Crazy. Why are you that good at it? Why are you that good at it? I wanna try it one time. <laughs> you did that really good, man. I only three foot on this thing. Yeah, but it's like you knew what, what was that, Brian? I, I front stuff flipped it. Tabor taught me on a three flip one time and nothing else. No nope. fucking deal. <laughs> All right, well, let's actually skateboard now. Well, that's yours. Put yes, that in your pocket for this challenge. No. He's got to do it the whole time. <laughs> the whole ready. time. We need your skateboard, and I'll get a skate tool. Let's meet at the quarter pipe. The thing with this is, like, I like tight trucks, but there's probably nothing worse than really tight trucks. I skate really loose trucks, so this is going to be impossible. Imagine if you had to skate the mini ramp with this thing. Oh, I'd... You'd die. Yeah. Are you afraid of breaking the kingpin? I, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. You've been tightening it for a while. How loose are they normally? They're really loose. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna screw up his trucks. I'm like not gonna be able to smith grind or anything. Okay, so is that really tight? It's as tight as I can get it because the, the, the hanger's running into the tool now. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> There's no bend, it just goes up. All right, so 10 minutes. Get your positronic net out. Okay, just pick a, pick a spot, <laughs> my my max. And whenever you uh, start going for your trick, he'll start it. Oh, like for my first one? Yeah. Have you ever peed your pants at work? Twice. The hubba? Wow, that's crazy. Brian, Brian, when he goes, you go. Honestly though, like when that's the first try, it makes me feel like we made the right decision. I agree. I almost felt rolling up. You gotta do a better trick than that, man. Really? Yeah. Gotta do better. <laughs> You're just, it's just you cracking the whip over here. Yeah, I'm a real, real guy. See, that was way better. You I'll give that gives it? I'll give him a thumbs up for the crook. That, that's the bare minimum. Absolutely. Well, you got four more tricks, dog. He's doing a manual. Manual what? I don't know, but I feel like that'd be easier. <laughs> he ollied up to it. That was cool. Oh, see, that's a trick. He's doing a trick that's now. A trick. You off camera is way funnier than when you're trying a trick. You are terrible at rolling right now. Oh, you got it. I want to do that. That was vastly better than the crooked grind to me. I don't know, man. Really? I thought that was way, I thought the crooked grind was an easy out. I thought that was an actual <laughs> trick. I'm, you are weird today. I'm giving Ritz Rock. It just, can you just not pop a tight truck? No, because I like lean to the side. Ew! Oh! That absolutely 100%. That was really good, dude. That was good. You could tell that the, you like, you like redirected your that problem. That was amazing. All right, I paused. He's got seven minutes and 43 seconds left. On the, all right, so three more tricks, dog. What did he say? You're gonna keep up the stairs. You're gonna keep up the stairs? Keep up the stairs? Absolutely, dude, yeah. yeah. All right, so your goal is to start here and then land down there. You're gonna be a lover of tight trucks at gonna be hard when I land on it. Now the difficulty starts. <laughs> Explosion of skateboard. He almost took it right in the wiener. Okay, kid up. <laughs> you know they say, don't leave the stove on in Antarctica. Two minutes and 41 seconds left. He's got his. It was a smooth kickflip. It was, but he has his work cut out for him. Two tricks, bro. That would be weird. Oh my gosh, that was good. Dude, I'm telling you, you landed it so smooth. He looks good with tight trucks. That was so good. That was good. He's got a minute 43. Yeah. For one trick, he's got For this. one trick, maybe. Where's the final trick gonna be? It's like that one song, the final trick down. A switch blind, bad idea. A switch, you gonna do a transition trick? Yeah. You're not, yeah, sure, do it. I mean, you might lose, but that's fine. This was mean. This. No. So I'm just my first name right there. What happened? What happened? Threw a wheel at him and it was like when he caught it. It was pretty impressive. So the switch blunt, does that count? The switch blunt counts. He succeeded, Lee. Succeeded. You succeeded. I don't think you were that happy during this process. Nah. Tight trucks? Yeah. The worst part is like, 
Brian used to be one of my good friends before we did this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You've got coffee and GameStop money. It's gonna smell so good. What, what's th that happened last week? Why? Are you, what's with people eating coffee grounds? I don't know. You still play video games, right? Yeah. Well, there you go. That's what Gage Smith would have won if he would have back nose blunted the handrail last week. Oh my God! Everyone that missed that episode would be like, "Oh!" It's it was entertaining. Bad. You should watch it anyway if you didn't see it. Let me let me just give me a, a sampling of the simple. You've had like chocolate covered coffee beans, right? Honestly, dude, I think there's something to do it. It tastes good. Yeah, just to right? eat it. It's not yeah. bad. There you guys go. Thank you for making a stop in Ohio. He was just at Woodward. Now he's here. You are sweaty. Uh, <laughs> now he's here, and we had to get him. Dude, don't. That is, I don't even have to skate anymore. Like, you, you made me. All right. Uh, no. <laughs> but he made a stop here. I will put his Instagram in the info if you want to see more of what he is up to. Uh, but he's part of Revive. He's one of the dudes. The OG dudes have been around forever. So it's nice to have him on here. Uh, you'll probably see him next time on my channel when we're in Arizona because that'll happen sooner than later uh, And thank you guys for watching this video if you want to see more from me just hit the subscribe button right down below and you're signed up to see more It's free. It's easy. You just click it I would appreciate that if you guys uh, want to skateboard go do it if you need a skateboard We have the online skate shop the straight if you have a local shop of course support them But if not we have our shop. Um, thank you guys for watching go skateboard if you can That's hand it. boards. We have hand boards too <laughs> Skateboard and then a night handboard. <laughs> but those are those did release last Saturday. I'm done. I'm done telling you about stuff. Brian, say g going away. Going away. Dude, the living la vida loca, like living, you know that song? Uh-huh. Okay, that means living the crazy life. So the lyric is like, she's living the crazy life. Like, that is the worst. If that was in English, it'd be the worst lyric ever. That's the dumbest song. Well, I mean, it sounds cool, like living the vida loca. Like, oh, I get it. And then it's like, it doesn't translate. And then it goes like, dumps like a truck. What? It goes, that's part of it. You know what I'm saying?